Coach Stieber, uh, two and zero on the day for you guys. Two true thirds, two U.S. national team members in Sasso and Moore. Yeah, you guys came out to battle today, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's you know, sometimes it's you kind of come out here and just for a one match, true third. You never know where maybe the motivation is, and all these guys were, were ready to go, and they looked really well. We looked really good and wrestled well, so it was fun. It's fun to coach when they wrestle well like that. When you got a guy like Colin who's obviously dinged and unable to train, but you're able to get him through the situation and get him here to get him on the team, yeah. how do you do that? Is that all heart? Is that anything yeah, on no, your part? It's all heart. No, nothing on my part. I mean, I, I, I didn't really think you should wrestle. You know, I, was like, I, I didn't know how how, uh, how much he'd be able to do. So I was just was like, I don't know. You know he hadn't wrestled any live or anything since the Open. Besides, obviously, a couple matches at the trial. So kind of things, just kind of trying to be in good shape so he can last the whole match and, and you know, you can see like he was didn't shoot as much as, you know, early on because he, you know, he gets himself in some bad situations and hurt himself more, so he was trying to just hang in there and fight and, and you know, get some points when he could and, and uh, he did a good job. I'm like all hard by him. So he hasn't really been able to do much besides manufacture, you know, conditioning and manufacturing training. When you, when you look at how he, like, the, the last 50-50 where Nate's in on his legs, yeah. right? Like, at that point, you got to be like, eh, I don't know what's going to happen here, right? Yeah, like, I mean, it was trending bad, right? I mean, when he was up, when he was up 5-0, I wanted him to stop shooting. And then he was up 9-0, I really wanted him to stop shooting. And he kind of kept going. You know, that's just the, the mentality that he has. So that's, that's why he is so good anyways. Um, but, you know, in that last situation, I was happy that he kept wrestling. Because if he stops and gets a stalemate, they get a restart with 15 seconds left. That's, that's ideal for Nate Jackson. It's Nate Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, he's explosive. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, you know, keep wrestling through the position and then try to score. And he did a good job of just keep wrestling. And even if he won this guy to score, it would have taken, you know, more time. So really, really smart by him and good wrestling. You know, do that. How do you keep Sammy Sasso with fresh legs? And, I mean, he's he's been, he's right there, man. He's yeah. about to do it in something, right? Yeah. I, I know you're confident in him. I'm yeah. pretty confident in him. But, you know, NCAA finals, runner-up, U.S. Open, crazy chest strap situation. He loses a call that I thought he had. He got the call two times and then doesn't get it the third time. Yeah. But Sammy Sasso is right there. Hot, you know, the start of the season, he took some weird losses in a lot of people's eyes. Yeah. But he's out here. He looks fresh. He looks yeah. great. He's happy with the sport. How do you guys keep a guy like Sammy Sasso and get him on the – keep him interested in wrestling, fresh legs, and get on the U.S. national team? Yeah, let me say he loves wrestling. So, I mean, he loves it, he loves everything about it, so he's always excited, and, you know, he's had a bunch of tough losses, and I think, I think, you know, he's able to learn from them, and, 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 and you know, really, uh, you know, really think about, like, you know, how much he likes the wrestling, and it's, it's how he can get better from it, and, you know, and learn from situations, like, when they had a challenge, he was like, all right, it's going to be 8-0, and me and Jay are like, well, it's, I mean, probably 10-0 because the ref did a good job of letting letting the, uh, the leg legs go. But he's like, ah, we'll just plan for 8-0 just in case. So he's already kind of, his mentality is, is, you know, getting ready for hard hard scenarios. Like uh, you get a bad call or you, you get something. So he's changing his mind. You know, he's, 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 he's starting to figure it out more and more. And I think he's getting better. I think he had a really good year, even with a couple losses. You know, obviously he lost, he lost really good. He lost a really good freshman, he lost a couple guys, and then he got put on his back to the six. And that's uh, a tough lesson for Northern Illinois, Northern Iowa, Iowa. So he, uh, I thought he had a really good season. He's getting better. I think I like, the biggest thing is that he loves wrestling. He loves wrestling, and you know, I, I, I feel very confident that he's going he's gonna to be on top of the podium soon. Yesterday at the press conference, we had David Taylor, and you and David, you know, came up wrestling, uh, training as little kids. I remember you guys at Jordans, at Burnett's. I remember seeing you guys around everywhere. And um, he talked about how how their careers are longer, the you know how their, their nutrition, their training, their uh, rehab, everything that they have. Um, your body kind of disagreed with you, similar how Spencer's body's disagreeing with him. Yeah. Um, you know, you won a world title. Yeah. You know, you did it, but like. How does your body feel now? And do you feel like your body gave up on you a little bit or did you train too hard? What was it for you as far as extending your com competition career? And and yeah. could you still have done it? Do you feel like you could get back into it if you wanted to? Uh, I mean, I'm not, 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 I'm not,
I'm not gonna get back into it. Definitely. I mean, I, I probably could if I really, really wanted to. But I think you know, my, my neck and back were in really bad shape, um, which was a was an issue. But I also was was kind of ready to be done. You know, so the injury was was was, was tough. It took me a while. I did a bunch of different things and kind of get it figured out. And I feel great now. I can wrestle. And, Recovery. Can you wrestle every day? Uh, I could. I don't. Though. I, I, I will during the season. Like you know, these guys ask me, you know, April, April third, maybe I will wrestle. You know, the whole week in April. But, but uh, you know, I was ready to be done. So. so you were just ready. The sport was. It just yeah. you'd already done everything you could do, and then they eliminated your weight. You were a tweener. Yeah. I couldn't mean, get big enough. I couldn't cut I down. Pretty good at sixty-five kilos. Um, I just uh, I was probably ready to be done. Coach Jags, you got any questions for him? No, I'm good. Can you tell us a little bit more about those four NCAA titles? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think oh, interviews are all good. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks for the time.